The harmonic set is the melting pot of the pressing scales. It has many subsets that are shared with other pressing scales and it has the most subsets out of all the pressing scales. In this video we're going to discuss the harmonic major and minor scales in depth and go over many of their subsets with examples. I'm Jay Beard and I make videos about Scriabin and music theory so please check out my website to check out the lessons and courses that I offer and please like, comment, and subscribe. The harmonic set is the only pressing set that has no symmetry at all and that's why it's the only pressing set with an inversion pair. The three pressing sets we've covered have transpositional symmetry mapping onto themselves at a certain transposition level and the last two pressing sets have inversional symmetry mapping onto themselves when inverted across a line of symmetry. When you invert the harmonic minor scale across a line of symmetry you get the harmonic major scale and vice versa. This lack of symmetry is also why it has the most subsets out of all the pressing scales. Its fourth number is 732 which includes both harmonic minor 732A and harmonic major 732B. It's also worth mentioning that the harmonic set is the third most even seven note set right after the acoustic and diatonic set. The harmonic minor scale has long been used in classical music as a melody to accommodate the leading tone of a five chord. However, I'll give examples of its subsets being applied harmonically as chords. Overall, the harmonic set and its subsets sound somewhere in the middle between consonant and dissonant. I'm not too knowledgeable about music from across the world, but I've read that some of the modes of the harmonic scales are used in Middle Eastern music and Indian music. I've also heard certain modes used in metal music. Let's go to the whiteboard and start by listening to every mode of the harmonic set from the most spread out to the least spread out, starting with harmonic minor. Here's the fourth mode of harmonic minor voiced as a chord. Scriabin has one piece that's primarily based on the harmonic set and its subsets, opus 59 number 2. This excerpt uses the entire harmonic set based on G harmonic minor. Let's go over which harmonic subsets have been covered in previous videos overlapping with other pressing scales. We've got the flat 13 chord from the whole tone set, 521 from the hexatonic which means harmonic has all the rest of the subsets of hexatonic, and 627 is in the octatonic set which means most of the smaller octatonic sets are in the harmonic set as well. We're going to explore the two five note sets that are unique to the harmonic set before going over each of its hexachords. 522 sounds like beautiful despair which we can think of as a minor major 7 sharp 11 chord. In the Scriabin excerpt we looked at, it makes up the five notes of the five-let melody. Scriabin also uses this set as the more dissonant dyads heard in the right hand of Sonata 8. 518 is used more as a melody as the first five notes of the sixth mode of harmonic minor. This is a funny example to mention, but the offspring song Come Out and Play plays up and down this set melodically in a catchy way. 6E29 is like a minor chord with a major chord a whole step above that we might call a minor 9 sharp 11 13 chord. I can't find any examples of this set being used, so I'd like to take a second to explain what's meant by the Z in fort numbers. You can watch my video on Z pairs and complements, but I'll briefly explain that Z pairs are two different sets that have the same interval content. Interestingly, among six note sets, Z pairs are always complements of each other, meaning the two Z pairs combined form all 12 pitches. The Z pair for 6Z29 is 6Z50, which is the octatonic set with a nice interval vector. 
This means 6z29 has the same interval vector as 6z50 and that the notes that aren't included in 629 make up 650. 6 c 19 is like two major triads a semitone apart from each other. Its Z pair is 6Z44, the bizarre prominent cluster set from the beginning of Scriabin 8. In line with the theory that Z sets resemble each other, we see plenty of 619 in Sonata 8 as well. Here's the passage used to show 522 using both hands giving us the entire 519 set. Six Z twenty eight is the Z pair of Scriabin's octatonic hexachord, and we might think of it as a fully diminished chord with a dominant seven and nine. In my orchestral piece Self Overcoming, I use this set to portray longing. Six thirty one is my favorite harmonic hexachord. If you move any pitch of the hexatonic scale a semitone away, we get 631, and it's also one semitone away from the mystic chord. Here's a fourths voicing of it that resembles the mystic chord. It's really hard to give it another name, but we could say it's like a major triad over an augmented chord a half step apart. Scriabin uses this set as a melody in Prometheus as a motif that repeats frequently. 624 is a beautiful set shared with the acoustic set. We might call it a minor major 7913 chord. I voice it as a chord in my orchestral piece to represent a grieving mother. Lastly, we have 625, which is a subset shared in common with the diatonic set. We could think of it as a major scale missing the fifth or sixth scale degree. Scriabin uses this set as a major 7 sharp 11 13 chord at the very end of Vers la Flemme, a piece that's harmony evolves throughout from dissonant harmony to this pristine consonant ending. The harmonic set is one of the most interesting pressing sets containing subsets shared in common with all the different pressing scales and has several unique subsets of its own. It has a very balanced interval vector which allows its subsets to have such a variety of intervals and character. I think composers should explore this set more because it's consonant enough to support a variety of consonant structures and yet it's underutilized enough to sound quite novel. I've written an entire piece mostly centering around the 631 subset, and I'm sure there are many more subsets that haven't been explored by many composers harmonically. You meet musicians that understand diatonic and maybe octatonic scales, but it isn't often that musicians really understand and utilize the harmonic scales in their subsets. What's your favorite subset of the harmonic set? Let me know in the comments, check out my website, join the discord, and please like, comment, and subscribe.